Hello friends, this video on hydrocarbons part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we'll talk about a very interesting topic called conformations. So what happens is, if you see the alkanes, they have single CC bond, right? They have single single bond. This bond is single, correct? So with this, free rotation of this carbon is allowed. That means this carbon is allowed to rotate. You see, this carbon is allowed to rotate, correct? So let's suppose this is my carbon 1 and this is my carbon 2, let's suppose. So if you see, I mean, both of the carbon will rotate, but just for a clear understanding, I made carbon 1 as static and carbon 2 is rotating. But now this carbon can rotate, right? The free rotation is allowed because there's a single bond here. Had there been a double bond, this pi bond also, then the free rotation was difficult, correct? But in this case, since there is a single bond, the free rotation is possible. And since the free rotation is possible, you can have so many varieties of, for example, in this case, ethane, right? So you can have so many possible options. In one case, these two hydrogens are mapping. Some case, they are not mapping, right? So they, we can have n number of different arrangements, right? So if you say this rotation results into different spatial arrangements of hydrogen in the space and all these spatial remains are called conformations or conformers or protamers. So this is the name given to all these uh, spatial arrangements. They are called conformations or conformers or protamers. Correct. So with this you can say that alkanes have infinite number of conformers. Correct. Because the, the difference in the, in the degree can be many, right? It can differ by, let's suppose, 0.1 degree, 0.2 degree. So it all depends on how precise we are looking for, right? So there can be infinite number of conformations. So should we study all those? It doesn't make sense, right? So we can study at least the extreme forms, correct? So let, let's do that. But before we do that, let me tell you one thing that these rotations are not completely free. They're hindered by energy barrier, and the energy barrier is 120. So it's actually 120 kilojoule per mole. But this is very weak, actually, right? This is very weak, so it can easily be broken. But there is some energy barrier, and this energy barrier is nothing but torsional strain between these two carbon, right? There is some energy barrier that, that restricts the motion. Its energy is 120 kilojoule per mole. It's very small energy, and this is called torsional strain. So as I told you. There are infinite number of conformations of ethane, for example, where there are two extreme cases which we are interested in. Correct. So the extreme case are one in which the hydrogen atoms are close together as possible. For example, these are as in this case, it is not the one actually, but this is a staggered one. If you see, all the hydrogens are as far as possible. The next is the staggered, where the hydrogen atoms are as far as possible. For example, in this case, they are all as far as possible. Correct? This is an example of staggered. In eclipse, if you rotate this little bit more in this direction, then if you see, these hydrogens will be closed. Now, if you see, these hydrogens are apart. Correct? We'll, we'll show you that once, we'll show you this animation. And all the other intermediates are called skew conformations. So we are talking about three conformations now. Eclipsed when the hydrogens are very close, staggered when the hydrogens are very apart. Okay? And when talking about hydrogens, I'm not talking about the hydrogen of these carbons or of these carbon. I'm talking about hydrogen of these carbon. For example, if I take one hydrogen from these carbon, I have to take another hydrogen from these carbon. Correct? In that fashion. And then Please note the bond angle, the bond length, everything is same. If you talk about this length, these angles, they are all same in the conformation. They don't change. Only this whole thing changes. The whole this whole system rotates. So if, as I told you, uh, the eclipsed one is for example in this state, it was eclipsed. Now it's again staggered. Now it's again eclipsed. They are nearby, right? Right? Again staggered. Now it's again this is eclipsed. They are very close. This is staggered. This again, eclipse, very close. Again, staggered. Again, this is eclipse. We'll, we'll show you how to. Now let's understand the sawhorse projection. 
So in this projection, the molecule is viewed along the molecular axis. This is my molecular axis actually. It's viewed along that molecular axis. And we draw a straight line that is tilted left or right. So we can draw in this fashion or this fashion. Both are fine. Right. So in this case, it's tilted towards right. And the front carbon is at the lower end. This is my front carbon. And this is my rear carbon. Correct. And these, each of these carbon has now three lines attached to it. There is nothing but my three hydrogen atoms. And these lines are inclined at 120 degree each. This angle is 120 degree each. So it is 360. This is my sawhorse formation. So if you see, this is my eclipsed one because if you see these two hydrogens, the one in the reds, they are very close to each other. And now if we talk about the staggered, you see these are not close. If you see the three-dimensional way, then you will understand that. See, if you see in this case, had this also be in this uh, style, then this hydrogen would have been closer to this. But now if you see with this, the distance is this guy, this much. This is far, right? But if you just calculate here also, this distance is small. This distance is nothing but my this distance. But if you talk about this distance, this is more, actually, right? You can apply the Pythagoras theorem in the math which you have learned. This distance is nothing but this distance square plus this distance square with the triangle, actually, right? So this is my the least distance and this is my max distance. This is my max distance between two hydrogen. This is the least distance between two hydrogen. Correct. The next is the Newman projection. So in this projection, the molecule is viewed at CC bond head-on, we view from this source, head-on actually. The carbon atom near to the eyes is by a point, this is my point, and three hydrogen atoms are attached to the front carbon atom, they are shown in this fashion, the line in the plan. The rear carbon atom is represented by a circle, the circle represents the rear carbon atom, right, so this is my front carbon atom this dot and the rear is a circle, right? So this is a circle and the front carbon is by a point, correct? This is my front carbon atom and this whole thing is my rear, correct? This is my front and this whole circle is a rear carbon. So this front carbon atom is attached to the three hydrogen and the rear is attached to the three hydrogen in blue, correct? And all these angles are three, 120 degree each because I'm talking about Ethane. And now you can see the angle actually. So if you see, this is the angle. This is eclipsed, almost eclipsed. It has to match actually, but if you match it, the blue one is more visible. Just to show that you know, there's a blue line here, uh, it is not uh, merged. This is almost eclipsed because the distance between these are least. And this is staggered because the distance between these two hydrogens are max. Right. Now we'll talk about the relative stability of conformations. So as I told, the maximum is the repulsion, the minimum is the stability, right? So if you have maximum repulsion between these guys, you have minimum stability. So when you talk about the staggered ethane, they are very far apart. These two hydrogens are far apart maximum, correct? The distance is maximum, the repulsion is minimum. So I'll say distance between hydrogen if you increase this implies repulsion is decreasing repulsion is decreasing this implies stability is increasing and reverse is also true so in the case of staggered distance between the hydrogen is maximum right so distance are far apart as 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 max as possible the distance is maximum the repulsion force is minimum and thus stability is maximum. Okay. So in case of the eclipse one, in this case, if you see the distance is minimum, the repulsion is maximum, right? The repulsion is maximum, and thus stability is minimum. Correct. So the magnitude of the torsional strain, which I told, which uh, what do you call prohibit the rotation actually which obstruct the rotation that depends on the 
angle of rotation about CC power. And this angle is also called dihedral angle or torsional angle. Correct? This angle is, is something which we are talking about. The magnitude of strain depends on this angle. Correct? If the angle is less, uh, the strength is less, the strain is more, angle is more, strain is less like that. And if you see, the, the energy difference between these two extremes is only 12.5 kJ per mole. It is 12.5 kJ per mole. It's very, very small. It's very small. And thus, we say that the rotation of carbon and the carbon carbon single bond in ethane is almost free. It's almost free. So, 12.5 is very small amount. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.